Well, if you look at Bitcoin, the transaction fees are the revenue. It's really providing the service of validating the, the transactions, and it charges a fee for this. Now, Bitcoin seems to like to give away a lot of free service to customers, but it's not free. Transactions do cost money to process, and they uh, require bandwidth and things like that. Uh, but Bitcoin also has expenses, just like businesses do. You've got the miners. You've got to pay them. Now, Bitcoin doesn't have a bank account. It has no way to pay employees. So it does like all startups do. It pays them with shares in the company. And so Bitcoin is continuing to pay shares out to the people who are securing the network. It's just like a business. Except in the case of Bitcoin, it's spending a billion dollars a year to have people dig holes and fill them back up again just to provide security. The only security Bitcoin gets from all of this, by the way, is an amount directly proportional to how much money it burns. Anyone willing to spend more money can take it over. So why is this important? Well, first off, why do we use coin instead of shares? You know, you start telling some of these terms, Bitcoin's a company, you're issuing shares. This is what your lawyer is going to say when you talk to him on the phone. <laughs> and uh, it creates a real problem. So no one likes to talk in terms of shares or with this analogy. But just because you call them shares, doesn't actually make them shares in a legal sense. They're not a liability between any person. It's just a digital ledger. But metaphors have a very important impact on how we communicate and how people understand what we're doing and how you can then reason about a problem. And just because you call it a share doesn't mean it's a share in a legal sense. Um, the way I think it's going to end up going is eventually calling Bitcoin a currency is going to make about as much sense as calling a car a horseless carriage. We just didn't have the words to describe it. Uh, and it leads people to ask the wrong questions, like, well, how does it move if it doesn't have horses? But people intuitively understand why companies have value and how to evaluate them. Uh, so despite the uh, words you use, it doesn't make it uh, a legal share just because you're using those terms. So one of the first businesses that we can build uh, if, is BitShares X. Now, if, if you have a company, well, what can a company do? A company can uh, use its shares for doing all kinds of different transactions. In this case, we want to implement the business model of a bank. Now, banks create dollars. Whenever you go to borrow money from the bank, they take your collateral, your house, and they lend dollars into existence. They didn't exist beforehand. You just swapped IOUs with the bank. Uh, and the bank's willing to do this because they have your collateral. Uh, then when you repay your loan, the bank takes the dollars out of circulation. And of course, if you fail to pay your loan uh, or the value of your house falls, they have the ability to foreclose and make sure the loan gets paid off. And this is how banks remain solvent. Well, we can do the exact same transactions on a blockchain. 